What is, is up, up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Isaiah. My name is Kim. You guys are watching Isaiah. And Kim and we are matching. We are. Guys, so today we're gonna do a mukbang of Colby Southern Fried Chicken. And that guys, we it's heard. a new spot in Delaware that just opened. Now, reviews I saw, they're from like another um, state. They're from Jersey. Yeah. Now, I don't know if they have any other locations, but the reviews over there say it's really good. So I'm excited to try it. And I, two people that I follow on Instagram, they posted it up and I was like, is it good? They were like, yeah, especially their chicken tenders. So I'm excited because I love chicken and I love fried chicken. So Who don't I'm love ready, fried chicken? Yeah, I'm ready to try it. I'm a little sick. Um, I don't have COVID. We took a test. We're good. We're negative. Um, but as you guys saw, we did have a, a blast in our Disney trip and Yo, being over there. It was a great there. time. It was hot. <laughs> hot. So it was very hot, very exhausting. It took a day for Isaiah's night to feel better but come back we to life tired. so when yeah. you guys will be seeing this you guys will be seeing later but it is pre-recorded but today we are matching and we're going to start off the week good and, and productive positive. and positive but right now we're going to go to the mall and we're going to return something and then we're going to go get a smoothie to detox and then our food and then we'll see you guys at the house and we can do our mukbang so we'll do the mukbang in three two one all right guys we got colby colby's now he right. just said something that he probably didn't want to say. What did he say? He says, thanks for coming. Hope you guys come back soon. What did he, he say? He said, thank you for coming. Enjoy the food. I hope you guys come back soon. Please soon. come back soon. Please come back soon. And I was like, if it's good, we will. Damn, Isaiah, see, you should have got your own damn fries. God Isaiah damn. Isaiah always wants to share stuff as if he doesn't finish all the food all the time, guys. Boo, boo. How about you just give me half the fries? But I want to give you half the fries. Boo. <laughs> Guys, why did he want to share a burger like he doesn't eat a whole burger by himself? Like, what is wrong with you? Oh my oh, god. Wait for the mukbang. Oh my god. Dude, how are you starting the mukbang already? Let me try to shake. I got to shake too. <laughs> I was going to do that. So intro, we're guys. back. We're back home. We finally got to sit, get. We finally able to sit down to eat. Yes. And I am so excited. I'm guys. so excited too, guys, because you're going to see our first impression. So, guys, first thing I'm going to do, actually, is because these tenders look so good. They were highly recommended. So, you know, boo, let's try this together. I'm going to break this one in half. Hold on, Bella. Here. And this sauce right here is called the Colby sauce. So, let's try it together. Wait for me to bite it, boo. Three. Chicken nugget, cheers. Cheers, chicken tenders. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. And that's really good. It's crispy too. Very good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's busting. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck. Yo, Delvin didn't need something like this for a while. Oh my god, yes. Alright guys, so I like ketchup. Yeah, it's gonna put some away. Burger. Comes like this. This is called the big spice. The big, big spice. Big like, something, but I'm gonna put some of the sauce on top of the, the burger instead of ketchup. Guys, I'm not a fan of ketchup on chicken sandwich. Yeah. I just, I personally think ketchup don't belong on a chicken sandwich. Let me know what y'all think. Yo, what? Your sandwich? Will you, you gonna finish all this? Is this the biggest? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm saying I personally don't think. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yo, that's fun. Very good. This is it's good as fuck. It's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Hold on, mommy, okay? I'm coming, mommy. The fries are good. What sauce is that? Oh, it's Thai chili. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Molly, come here. Mm-hmm. Come here, mama. Hold on, mommy, okay? Mm. It's so good. Very, very good, guys. 
<laughs> this shape. Damn. Guys, I'm eating way too good lately. It's mm -hmm. bad. Look mm. it close. So, Belly wanted to be a part of the the, 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 the mukbang. Mama. Alright, I got equal. Yeah, put it down. You just ate, mama. You just ate. I fed you for that vegan, but you still want more food. Delaware doesn't really have like a wide variety of food. Especially when it comes to like restaurants, there's a lot of chain restaurants. So when something like this comes out, it's like we gotta jump on it. Cause we wanna try it. And we're big on food. Cause like a lot of other states we see they have like all these other type of restaurants, but here's just like really McDonald's, Wendy's. You know the basic. Like we have restaurants, but like food like fast food restaurants like this. Honestly, <clears throat> we have Chick-fil-A. I mean, I already got Chick-fil-A. I'm saying something like authentic, that not every, not like somewhere that everybody doesn't have, like something like this. Cause I haven't seen anything like this, like a Colby's, anywhere else. Mm. so good. <laughs> what, boo? Mm -mm. Yeah, guys, we hope we hope you guys are having a good October so far. Isaiah and I still have to. I'm pretty sure by this video, you guys are gonna get the sexy Halloween costumes, <clears throat> the pumpkin carving. Yep. Um, guys, when I tell you our whole like October to December is booked. It is booked, okay? Mm -hmm. Isaiah never knows about our schedule because he never listens. I do listen, but you know, I have short-term memory loss. sometimes you don't. Boo, I said I have short-term memory loss. You ain't Dory. Dora? Dory. Dory. <laughs> <laughs> um, then after that, it's my mom's birthday. So, I'm planning something for her because, as you guys know, Hercules wanted to say something. Hercules wants to say something. He said, hey. You guys know, like, I love celebrating people that I love's birthday. Like, I love planning stuff for them. I love giving them so many gifts. And Isaiah's always telling me, that's the only one that we got. Yeah. Okay. Mm. 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 Excuse me. <clears throat> so, I'm planning something for my mom. I don't know what to plan yet. And then it's December. <laughs> I'm so excited for December, guys. You guys will see why, but yes, I'm so excited. I just love family. I love December. I love holidays. <laughs> I do. It's like it's making you tear up, getting warm no. thinking about. It. Guys, let me tell you guys at Disney, every show made me tear up. Like guys, you guys saw in the videos, everything was just so beautiful. Although, let me say, okay. So when we were at Disney, <clears throat> I, w I got really, really sick um, one of the days. Like, I'm sick now, but this was before I went to Disney. So it mm -hmm. wasn't Florida that got me sick. It was, I think, before that that I had already been sick because we were with a friend that was sick before that. And it's not COVID because we already took, like, four tests. So they all came out negative, thank God. <clears throat> but I got sick. Or I got worst when we were there. And... Oh my God, was it so bad? No, it was like, hot. It was so hot. It was 94 degrees. So I was prepared for like a chilly type of weather. I took like long pants. Like basically my outfits had no type of like connection to the vibe of Disney. And I forgot my Disney bat, my Disney clothes that I bought. Most of that was like long sleeve my dad bought me a, a halloween disney one over there which by the way disney's so expensive guys like if you go please save up save your money that. like plan it a year ahead and save a bunch of money because i'm telling you you will spend so much money. guys and i saw a hack <laughs> where like if you are planning on going to disney like a year from now mm -hmm. like buy gift cards each month like put twenty five thousand on the Disney gift card and month. just put in an envelope or something. Honestly, we didn't think of that because no, I did tell I did tell everyone, but you guys were like, no, that's just easier saving. No, but like, 
told Isaiah, so I was like, hey, and my mom, like, we should start saving. Because I found out, I want to say, like, a month and a half afterwards. <clears throat> I don't remember the timeline, so don't even quote me on that. But I do remember telling them, like, oh, look, I saw a hat because I was getting so excited for this yeah. to not buy X amount of things. So that did kind of disappoint me. But the shows, the parades, the rides, like, it just... It's so beautiful, guys. Like, the shows, are, I, they're just, like, the amount of creativity that goes in it. And even the, sh the rides. <clears throat> like, oh, a lot of the rides, they're not, like, like they're not, like, uh, they're not thorough rides. Right? They're not, like, you know, adrenaline pumper rides, but they're a lot of, like, it's, like, a lot of creativity in them. They're, it's more family-oriented type of rides, let's mm -hmm. say. It's, like, a, because Disney, you know, it's not about families that go there from. You know, to old, from really young to babies to really old. So, mm -hmm. you know, so so for your whole family to enjoy a ride, they, you know, they were creative in making rides that can fit like like 10 to 12 people, which helps move the lines too, because them lines, trust me, they are not short at all. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what time of year you go to, them lines are always going to be long. But I will say, yeah. this is one of the two times that we went that we got on basically everything. I went before without Isaiah's and the times that I went, I don't remember the lines taking that long as they did when we went for New Year's. <clears throat> but this time and the time when we went to Disneyland with my cousins in California, they were fast. But the one in California was like top five. Like that day we didn't spend no time in lines. But no, I think it was like a random time. That we it was there. a random ass day, like a random ass summer day. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people in California were actually still in school. Because mm -hmm. they got out later in the evening than people out here do. So this time it wasn't too long, but well, we didn't get on the ones that, that like they were like 15 to 18 minutes that we waited compared to like three hours that we spent one time. Yeah. And was it worth the wait? We got to, to go on the ride? Ratatouille one. Beautiful, guys, guys. And with that one, I late because they actually had this thing called the virtual queue now. Mm -hmm. And with the virtual queue, it's not like you're waiting in line all day. You you log into your My Disney Experience app. Mm -hmm. And you know, you know, just hit the group or and you guys get put you in queue. You'd be add to queue. You'd be add to queue, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it adds you to the queue. So your group, we were group 144 out yeah, of 200 Out of something. like a lot of groups, but you know, it tells you when you can go. Yeah. So, and we so you're not waiting in line. Which I think Disney should do that in general because it makes it easier. Like people, a lot of people waste their times waiting in these lines and they barely get to go to all the things. And Disney's expensive, like I said, guys water bottles anything is so expensive yeah. and i like i like that they did that i wish they would do that for all the ones the frozen one was pretty cute too mm -hmm. um so all the rides i like they were very like you know very family oriented they were so creative and it just goes to show you like that's why they spent so much that's why so much money because like the creativity that goes behind it i mean it's just insane like it's so beautiful like you guys really have to go if you have a chance to go take it it's such a blessing to go because not many people get to go um you see a lot of foreigners down there so i like that that you saw a lot of foreigners from different countries epcot is like the adult disney i mean even though it's part of disney it's more like adultish yeah even i definitely you saw say kids, that yeah even though you saw kids like it's everyone wanted to like, drink <laughs> like people that were literally going in to eat and drink because mm -hmm. epcot they don't really have too many rides mm-hmm like Kim said, it's more showing off all the countries, you know, showing a little bit of their culture from each spot where you go. Mm -hmm. But literally, all the lines for like alcoholic drinks were long and full. Mm -hmm. Like everybody was getting drunk. Like you saw so many drunk people <laughs> in Epcot. And groups of people <laughs> with their shirts on that said, um, "I'm my superpowers making beard disappear." Yeah, or the other <laughs> one was like, "Mode is." Um, Dr drunk in disney and it was like they're so creative like their shirts were so creative so it yeah. makes me want to go out there more with a group of friends that we can drink because obviously we have my little sister my mom's friends daughters so um i mean isaiah's and i still got pretty like yeah. tipsy we got we drank a lot of different things but we didn't get to try everything just because like i said people went there for like the drink around the world to drink in every country plus it was the food and wine festival so everyone wanted to try the wines from every country yeah but it was overall amazing we're so blessed and grateful and thankful that we were even able to go and i hope that this tradition carries on it hurt us to leave our baby dogs but That's next time really... hopefully they get to go with us yeah because they have a hotel for dogs in disney so hopefully we can you know <clears throat> for blessed enough to get it get in there and book it so we can take them with us because i really do hate leaving them like i do too that breaks my heart because nobody watches them 
how we watch them like even if we tell them and Isaiah and I we pay whoever we watch to watch them it's not like they're doing it for free so you know because I believe in time is money and I know that taking upon that responsibility is a big responsibility yeah, but I that's why I offer money because I want full commitment that you're going to be here da, 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 da. even if I tell you like after I tell you how important it is for you to be here I expect the same you know thing uh, reciprocated because you're working at the end of the day like when you're working a job you're not gonna do certain things because you're getting paid to do the job so you're not gonna you know leave and do this and that and you're not gonna make excuses as to why you can't work you're getting paid for it so we would really want to take them because even though we pay people like that it's not the same you know we're very <laughs> yeah. appreciative of everybody who was able to watch them though but... very Isaiah's mom Isaiah's daddy <laughs> and um my friend Vicky and, and her sister, sister yeah. but we're very grateful but still guys so um we're gonna do a Disney haul, so check out our TikToks and our reels. We do a lot of that. So, but other than that, we do. No, I hope you guys have a blessed first of y'all day. And I am full as hell. Facts. I think Maybe I, we should have got one sandwich. I told you. Listen, this girl eats with her eyes. I told her. Let's <laughs> just get one sandwich. Nope. That's because I haven't been eating that much, boo. Yeah, and if you knew you wasn't gonna eat a lot, that's why I said one sandwich. But I was hungry. But you was thinking with your stomach. Alright guys. I gotta yell at her. <laughs> I'm